angry sometimes My heart's on the line These problems are mine to hold yeah. So here we are on a random ass fucking Thursday and I literally just got off work and I honestly just had the tendency, the urge with everything that's going on lately just to get out and vent and just fucking get out and fucking, I don't know man, just collect myself. What I'd better do it is to ride this bike that has no name still. If you have names right now, I want to hear them. It's a girl, so don't think it's a guy. It's, we're not going to name it Harold or Pablo or Picasso or Gilbert. It's going to have a girl's name. But uh, this video is going to be about like stuff that's on my mind, and I'm also being uh, taking you guys through the mountains. There's some weird-ass fire trucks. Um, smells so good right now. Today, I bought fucking super glue for my helmet, just to like where my GoPro. I like the mount on my chin, just because I think uh, like it gives a good view when I'm riding and shit. And so I, I put, it wasn't like the gel super glue, it was like liquid, which I, I knew it was, but I was gonna try and control it. And what ended up happening was it leaked through and got like all over my helmet. So now there's dried glue like all around my helmet and chin, it looks awful. So what I might do is I, I bought nail polish remover and I'm gonna try and fucking take care of it myself, uh, which I have got a little bit off, but it still looks pretty shitty. So I think I'm gonna have to fucking eat more fucking money because I've been a fucking money pit this past couple months between a bunch of random shit so I might buy another fucking helmet because I might have just fucked another one which I'm pissed because this helmet's pretty nice I don't know I'm not going to resort to that option unless like I just can't get the glue off it looks retarded though but we're going out to Okatama again like I was last year we're going to take a different route take some mountains and hills and shit the helmet is like the least of my fucking concerns right now it's just like the military bullshit is just getting caught up with me and I'm just trying to juggle it and just trying to not go crazy. So I just got on my bike. I'm like, you know what? I'm not dealing with this right now. So I just dipped on my bike to go across the mountains. Listen to some music right now as we make this vlog. Um, yeah, so the helmet, the military shit's pissing me off right now. And so just checking out my bike. <sighs> yeah, so I got my uh, fucking Alpine stuff jacket on. I have a backpack on with my fucking uh, Sony A5000 camera. See if I can get some pictures, pull over. A little bit, but I got a lot of shit going on right now. It's the military. I'm not here to complain a bitch and shit, but it's just shit that happens. And what are the bad people who want to have a bike? You understand, like, the best way to clear your head is just to get on a bike and ride. Like, never ride really pissed off and shit, but I'm just riding just to relax a little bit. I know it's like, I don't even know, 1725 right now, 530. And, uh, I don't even know. It gets dark at like 1900, and I don't really care because I'm just enjoying it. Then it's the weekend and I'll probably go out riding again. My friend wants to buy another bike and trade his bike in, so I might go to show you guys what a motorcycle shop in Japan looks like. Probably bring my camera for that. Um, if my GPS gets me lost, I'm gonna find a kid on the sidewalk and kick it. I'm gonna kick a kid. Bum, bum, bum. I actually washed this bike for the first time in a while. I actually polished it and got a hose to it the way it fucking should be maintained. And gave it a nice little bath this weekend because my friend was washing his KTM. I cleaned the whole chain, cleaned the whole wheels. Why are you breaking, you faggot? If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I post a lot of shit when uh, military shit and stuff when I'm not on my bike and stuff on there. And that's when you guys are getting most of my updates because I'm pretty much always on Instagram. Uh, so follow me on Instagram. At the end of this video, there'll be a card from Instagram. It's, uh, I don't even know, Life is Eags, I think it is. If not, links in the description to follow me on that. And YouTube's stupid as fuck lately. So I want you guys to do, if you guys are the real subscribers, make sure you guys go turn on my post notifications. The way you do that is right below this video, wherever you're watching right now, there's like next to the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed already, click that subscribe button. There should be a little bell indicator, so you'll receive notifications. And make sure you turn all notifications on, because YouTube does not like to notify people, or sometimes my videos do not hit people's sub boxes and shit, so they don't see them. So my Facebook, Instagram is in the description. Make sure you guys turn on the post notifications, so when I upload, you get a notification saying, hey, I uploaded. Puppy. It did, uh, it did rain a little bit today, and hopefully it holds up while I'm riding. So the roads are a little wet, uh, so I'm going to take my, uh, not go crazy on the mountains and slide out. But, uh, there's something else I want to say. Oh yeah, this person in front of me I think has autism because they're driving really slow. 
So if you guys are stopping in for the first time, you kind of wondered how long I'll be in Japan for. I'm supposed to leave Japan August of 2018. You better not go because I will break your fucking legs. And um, But there always is that option to extend an extra year in Japan, which I am considering a little bit. I'm about 50-50. It depends on how shit goes with work here and crap. But I love Japan. Like, I love riding in Japan. Japan's a great place. The culture, the scenery, the environment. Everyone's, like, super fucking nice. The food here is bomb as shit. Like, aside from North Korea, like, nuking us at any fucking day. Like, it's really nice here and I enjoy it. So, as the time gets closer, I might stay in Japan. I might not stay in Japan. It really all depends on how much bullshit I face. But, uh, looks like it did rain a little bit up here. But the roads seem a little bit dry. I just love like the scenery. I love riding out in Japan. Like the whole left side of the road thing when I got here was so fucking weird. But when it came here, it's just it's so used to. Like I watch moto vlogs or videos on YouTube and shit, and I see people driving on the right. I was like, I'm like, what? It's a little weird. But Japan's great, so the option is to extend. Possibly, I don't know, 50/50. But I just want to let you guys know that I do have the option to stay here longer, which I might do. I might not. Who knows? Am I the only one while you're riding? Just like either you're bored or you're just fucking around. You'll just do a bunch of like waves and like. Just twist these and turn these, like just do this. Like I can't be the only one. It's just so fun for some reason. Like I play the pothole game sometimes where I'm riding and I like see these two potholes on my left. I'll flank right, flank left, or like this one here, like last minute, just come through them. I don't know. It's fun and it's also practice if you're trying to avoid something in the street, like a little dog or a little Japanese kid or a gorilla or something, like you can avoid it, you know. I just do it. I, I maybe I'm the only one. Like this pothole, just like flank it left rift it's not even a fucking word i'm thinking since it's a thursday and like just like uh america and shit like people have the nine to five jobs here in japan i'm hoping the mountains aren't as crazy but we'll find out but the gps last time i came here took me a different route and like this way it took me a whole different route like some of it looks familiar but like i feel like i'm lost at the same time but i have this one pinpoint to that waterfall i'm not gonna go to the waterfall i'm just gonna bear at some random ass turn and take you guys through a different scenery than last vlog when i was in the mountains last week with my friend he had a, like a ktm 200 and we were on the hills and i could have easily just dropped a gear and just disappeared and like on the other lane and got past all these cars but I don't want to fucking dust him and leave him in the... He would never be able to catch up to me. Because even on stoplights, like, I'm gone and he's just sitting way back. But he's at, we're going shopping this weekend. Hopefully he gets a bigger fucking bike. I think he wants to get a CBR 400 or something like that. Because the commander only authorized him to get up to a 4, I believe. But I can go up to a 750. Because I just sugarcoated the fuck out of my story when I asked to get a bike. But, uh, so yeah, if I get to these open roads and I'm not going to be wanting to go fucking 30 kilometers right now, I'm 100% passing all these queers. It's probably not a good word to say because some people get offended in today's world but i'm gonna pass these little fuckers because they're pissing me off going this slow there should be no reason to go in this slow i'm not saying you have to go really fucking fast but the stereotypical prius that we're all stuck behind right now it's just so beautiful out here in okatama like this is drone territory i can't wait till i get one once i stop spending money on stupid shit i need to pass this guy too and just get away from this like come on Usually they'll pull over for you, but maybe if I fucking tailgate them, they will. Every time I come in here, I just feel like I'm in a movie because it's just so nice. Hopefully the roads aren't super wet around turns and shit. Seem pretty dry, but I don't know. Give me a little room so I can pass this guy. I'm gonna disappear. This red fucking shit looks like the crap they put on like playgrounds, you know what I'm talking about? If you guys don't know, you're stupid. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, like that shit's slippery as fuck. I tap my fucking front brake a little bit and start sliding a little bit. So I gotta be careful. It's a little wet up here through the tunnels, but hopefully all the roads aren't super fucking soaked. If they are, I'm gonna take it easy. See like, oh yeah, they're pretty wet. Fucking balls. But let's see how loud it is. Ready? It's a good thing no one's in here different way to get out here but yeah we used to do dumb shit daily i love it out here i want to go down by that water but i feel like i'll get attacked by a bear like i do have my knife with me but i don't know man i mean honestly with this jacket and these knuckles i could probably no actually i'm no why would no we're not fighting a bear next up will zeke's fight spare Bicyclist, motorcyclist, fight spare. That thing was like a little lion. What the fuck? Yep, now I know where I am. 
We're in the movie Planet of the Apes. That's where we are. Every day I spend my time drinking wine. Right, if you guys don't have it already, get a Senna Bluetooth headset for your fucking, uh, your helmet so you can communicate and you can just listen to music. It shit's a little wet up here, actually. I'm going to try and go to that bridge where I went last time and, uh, walk around this time because last time I just walked down to it. I didn't really show you guys anything. So we're going to try and get over there. There's a couple other places I want to try and pull over. Like I said, I'm not trying to be here past dark because I bet you all the deer and the fucking bears come out. And uh, motorcyclists versus bears is never a good thing. It is about this helmet. As I fucking take it up to 100, is uh, my fucking... Uh, there's the backfire. It's it's kind of loud at Windy. If you guys... Uh, I've, well, if you're looking for helmets, this is that Bell Qualifier helmet. And I kind of just bought it because it was like... It had good reviews. It was on Amazon and shit. And uh, it, had, it was compatible with Senna's. It had pockets for the speakers. So I said, fuck it. But I think I bought the size a little too large because it's kind of a little loose and it looser than it probably should be on my help, on my head. Uh, I had the Icon Dark Alliance variant. or No, not the Alliance. It's a Dark Alliance one. I had that after. It is wet as fucking vagina in here. So if I have to buy another helmet, I'll buy one. But this one's pretty cool. I don't want to waste money, but we'll see how my nuts. I'm trying to stay in the middle right here. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up. But it's like the tire marks from people fucking driving and shit. I'm just trying to avoid it. Keep my tires as dry as possible. There's a reason I'm like the only one on it. Because like who's dumb enough to go on these mountain roads where it's known for leaning and turning and enjoying it. And uh, it's wet as fuck. I guess I should have thought there's two. Because it is really wet up here and I'm like the only bike up here. And when I was here last weekend, there were so many bikes. But we're going to try and get down by that water again. Which is somewhere up here, I believe. Hopefully fucking Smokey the Bear's not waiting for me. Waiting some from American meat right now in Japan, you know? As I do fucking, as I just said the road's wet, I'm being an asshole and doing fucking swirlies right now. Um, Alright. Hopefully my bike doesn't slide. It's a little wet right now. Uh, this is where I came last time. And I didn't really show it much because I was just fucking around. I'll show you guys. This is where, right there was where uh picasso was born actually he was born on that cliff and what his mother did is when uh he was born she made uh she brought bed sheets with her because you know she didn't want him to get cold they made a bed sheet uh rope slide and they they both just slid down here they walked across the bridge and they waved somebody down and that's how they rescued and picasso grew up and he just started drawing and that's totally bullshit but uh yeah when i see you last time people were fucking um Scale on that wall is actually, I'll, I'll probably go up there if there's not bears and shit. I'm just waiting to see a bear out here. Um, that, look, that little sign looks like it's holding a condom. I'll get closer next. But there's actually hooks on there and people were scaling and rock climbing that shit. They got balls. But I'm going to go down here. I don't think anyone's fishing. Bum bike looks fresh as fuck sitting right there though. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Alright. Before I get craned by someone flying. We'll go scope this out. I think I'm going to leave my gloves on this time because I don't cut myself. It's actually wet as titties down there. I'm going to piss though. I'm going to go check this shit out right now. I do have a knife in my pocket, but I'm not going to pull it out unless I see something. Yeah, look at this fucking... When I was here the other day, when I was editing my video, I meant to fucking do this. It is so, it's like the, the GoPro doesn't do justice, like, I gotta pee, I don't think that tree was there last time. Pee in the tree? Oh my god, I don't even want to risk going in, there's nothing to show you. Fuck it, I'll go in there. Do you think a bear can run across a fucking suspended bridge? If you guys see this, I made it, if you don't. Dude, I'm shitting dicks right now. Yeah, I'm not going to that dark cave alone, especially at dusk. But I'm watching my fucking left and right, waiting for a fucking grizzly to come out of nowhere. Right there, where that's where people were climbing up the other day. I'm not going to get closer because there's probably like a family of bears up there. But they climb that shit, and that shit goes high as fuck. I give them props. There was actually a guy climbing this the other day in Crocs, too. Actually, the rope is still there. There's a rope to get up there, but I'm not doing it in motorcycle boots. 
I'm probably gonna walk down to the river though. Do this real quick. It is nice as fuck out here though. I wanna come out here. I would come out here in the daytime and go I'm gonna go on uh I can't get on that rock from this side. I would come out here and just fucking get naked and take a nap. No, I'm just kidding. I'd I keep clothes on, but I'd take a nap. It would make a pretty good video if I saw a bear out here though, but can I get down? Oh yeah, that's wet as shit. I'm not going down that way. We'll scope this out. Let's continue this adventure. I'm just five pounds lighter after peeing, so hopefully, not hopefully, but if, fuck, if a bear comes, I can run faster. I really hope there's no bears out here. You guys think I'm fucking with you, man. Japan's got bears for sure. Like I said, if you guys see this video, make sure there's no bears like jacking off over here, but this is where I was last time. There's a monkey. Oh shit. Can you guys. Oh fuck. No, where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Let me try and get close to him without dying real quick. Oh fuck. Oh, he went. He's right there. Maybe if I go up to the road. But yeah, this is where I was. Last time, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go try and find this monkey, though. It's like the second time I've seen monkeys out here. This vlog turned out to me to go to explore a little bit. And now I'm looking for this fucking monkey. Where are you at, boy? I just wanna fucking see you up close. Where'd it go? You little fucker. He was like on the bridge and then he suspended down from the cable and he dropped down right into here. This has turned into Man vs. Wild Z's edition. Where'd you go, you little bastard? I don't know if you guys saw it. I'll try and freeze it. I'm trying to look for more. I wasn't even expecting to see monkeys out here, but I saw one. God damn it. Where'd you go? What the fuck? Monkey. I totally lost eyes on him, guys. But yeah, that's where I was last time. This stream. And that looks like an old train car bridge. It looks sketchy as shit. <sighs> I'm so pissed, man. I want to fucking see this monkey up close. He's probably in the bushes hiding like a little pussy. But yeah, this is probably it for the video, guys. I'm going to head back before it gets dark out. This is where I was the other day. I'm probably going to come out here fishing, and I'll sleep. you'll see me sleeping naked on that rock. You know what? I'm just, I wouldn't be on that rock naked. It would suck if the monkey like, took my knife somehow, and he cut the cable, and this bridge just dropped. And then I just grow gills and live in the Hokotama River indefinitely. But where are you, you little puss? Did he really go down to the water? Honestly, he's probably in, like, this grass right here, but I can't see jack shit in here, so. Yeah, if you guys saw the monkey, I'll try and freeze frame it, zoom in on it. I was over there, and I want to saw him swinging, but he's one with the forest now. So, yeah, if you guys made it this far in this video, go in the comments right now, and you're going to type in monkey, because we saw a monkey. I was like, huh. Damn, man, imagine I caught the monkey, I carried the monkey, put it in my backpack right, that's on right now, and I rode back to base with the monkey. Oh, shit. The monkey has socks? Oh, fuck, man, Madagascar style. Alright, guys. I lost the monkey. I'm the only one up here, I'm probably gonna get attacked. So we're gonna end it here. Make sure you guys type in monkey. I'll see you next time.